Clock in, clock in. Black guy that just walked in. Team Black got to stand up, man. Yeah. Well, from the last video we just did, I know y'all got the same information I got out of that. And the day before the foot incident with Mad The Stallion, she had a little back incident. Well, her back was being broke by some sort of monster called the baby, AKA the boogeyman, tearing that shit up. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about. Yeah, the dumb way, the stupid way. And what got me hella confused is, didn't the incident with Tory Lanez happen over him showing attention to another girl? Hmm. The baby spider senses was tingling that her back was a little bit lopsided. So he knew it was somebody out there other than her boyfriend, you feel what I'm saying? Reconstructing her back, you feel me? But um, y'all see how girls operate these days, baby? You is too manly, too masculine. That's why they like to get look dudes that they could just run over so they could feel like they, they him for real. And that's just Megan's whole relationship right now. I ain't gonna lie. And I could be just talking because I don't, I don't really, you feel me, see what's going on. But from what I see, like, like she was the true religions in the relationship. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, fam need to tie down and stop wearing makeup and shit and, and, and get some bosses. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, let's listen to Megan's response to the situation. Obviously, I don't think she's going to deny it because she's responding on stage, look like. You feel me? Or she might do respond and say, this nigga cap. Hold up, man. Let's get into it. So, look. Okay. I don't know about y'all, but I love my body. We, we love your body, too. That shit back up. I do what I want to with my body. When I want to with my body. With who I want to with my body. Cause it's who? My body. Oh, okay. What the f what? Oh hell no. Am I tripping y'all? Don't she got a boyfriend? Bro, where is where your dude at? I hope he ain't backstage condoning in this shit. I do what I what the hell that is not nobody what nobody in a relationship fan say. I am down. So instead of saying, bay up, my fault, I let the baby spank this shit, you feel what I'm saying? Woo -woo -woo. And my fault that it's in the media, you feel me? Making you look sour. You come on stage and say you do what you want to with it when you want to because it's your body. Ain't no way. And she out here feeding this to, to the damn crowd like this is facts. Yeah, it's your body, but damn, respect your nigga, though. You dare respect for hell. You're a little bit too hard, too. You need some milk milk. You feel what I'm saying? And I bet you, bro, it's real deal pulling whatever hell he got on his head out, fam. Just like the baby said in the song. I find it very ironic how she could get up on stage right after being exposed, low-key, because she was trying to keep the shit silence as hell, and then you were just complaining about, oh, I'm so sad, you feel me? I got party with this. Hell, down now, you was probably capped by the situation because the way it's looking right now, yeah, she definitely played a part in her own leg being hurt, you feel me? And right now, she must not be in a relationship with fam no more. And bruh better tie it down, because after hearing this shit, baby, yeah, that's your body, baby. Keep that body over there and just let everybody else keep spanking that body, you feel what I'm saying? Go let Black Gotti hit, because I heard Black Gotti want to spank, yeah. I do, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, go ahead and bring that shit their way and, and just pass that bit around, fam. No cap. Let everybody hit them. Straight up. Don't be skinchy. You feel me? I'm having a little rotisserie chicken too now. You feel what I'm saying? So, shh, let me explain. You know what I'm saying? If you love your body, let me hear you make some noise. My body, my choice. I want all the Brazilian hotties to say, my body, my choice. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. So right now we Ain't no way, bro. My nigga. You are a nigga. Why are you reciting? Are you serious, brother? Let me find out. Scotty too hottie. Like she been preaching to the thoughts for a minute now. She been letting every bit know it is cool to choose 
to get your house broken down by 30 niggas in a month. That ain't nothing. That's just one nigga a day. That's not a lot of people. Feel me? It's your choice. If you choose to do that, do that. Yeah, if you choose to let that thing lose all its grip, you feel me, within two months, do it. Because it's your body, your choice. Well, ain't no way. And milk will not bring that thing back. That bitch, as soon as it's gone, it's gone. Who the hell keep calling me? Hold up, there might be a pork call. To all the men that be trying to control us, we gonna put a middle finger up to everybody that be hating on us. We putting a middle finger up to everybody that doubted us. And right now we giving them a big fuck you. Okay, as much as I want to agree with what she was saying, a lot of the shit she was saying is just very fucked up. Like, she is a part of the agenda to make motherfuckers not respect their boyfriends or husbands or even their daddy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I, 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 I mess with the women power. Like, I feel like women, yes, like, you, you, you a boss bitch. Like, you supposed to be able to pop your... Ish, you feel what I'm saying? But in a way, I feel like she's just throwing it out there like, yo nigga can't tell you what you could do with your body or not. Like, yo nigga can't tell you whether you could cheat or not. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? Get spanked down by the baby and Tori. So she really just upset with her decisions and she want multiple people to make the decisions she made. But look how it turned out for her. A damn fragment in her foot and being outed on a nigga album. Like, Megan, I think you need to realize your tactic ain't working for you personally. Now, probably business-wise, you feel me? You probably getting a little bit more sales. You probably, you feel me, being in the media a little bit more, but your personal life is is, is 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 not it with these accusations flying around, if you feel what I'm saying. So as much as you trying to preach this to make everybody be on the same type time you own, uh, I think the smart ones ain't even going to take your advice into consideration. You feel what I'm saying? Because like, I kind of feel like certain stuff she's saying is 100% real. Like, you feel me? Like, you shouldn't be controlled. But if you call controlling being a good Woman to your dude, your your man, your husband, or your fucking dad. If you call that you being controlled, that's where you lost me at. You feel me? You just giving the right message the wrong way. You feel what I'm saying? Meg, don't nobody want to be on that same type of time you want. Stop trying to make everybody be like you, moment. Now, we like the boss in you. We do not like the tricking. Amen. Can I get an amen in the black heart in the comments? Or am I tweaking? You feel me? I don't know, but I respect all you women who do what y'all want to do and y'all ain't really too much going off what the next person tell you to do, you feel me? Use the real boss B, you feel me? Because you do what you want to do and you not moving the way another person is moving because, oh, I look, I listen to their music or whatever. Shit. Real talk. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments below. I'm about done with that. The baby. Uh, give Meg my number. You feel me? Cause I want to talk about some business with her. Nothing, nothing extra. You feel me? I wasn't there. But yeah, I'm gonna get back up with y'all. Love.